Another tough day at work today Stephen Kirk think I suck Throw back a few wobbly pops Feeling down on my luck And the interns ruin every show But it's still where we want to go It's Mike and the men of fans Cause nobody had any better We are live from Portland, Maine. We are at Gritty's. It's Mike and the Men of Fans. What's up, everybody? Glad to be here. It is our, uh, I think it's the first time Mike and the Men of Fans has ever been at the same venue two years in a row. We've never repeated, right? Uh, I don't uh, think so. Who's that asshole up there? You know, no, we never went back to Rick's after you ruined that really. Oh, that's right. Yeah, fuck him. No, yeah, yeah this, is, this is the. Uh... Gritty's is really the official home of Mike and the Men of Fans. It's. Uh, the fastest hour in recorded history or whatever uh, BA says. Really, the only reason I'm hosting is because your regular host said he was too drunk to take the take the reins. So Boo. I'll be doing it tonight, but uh, maybe you'll be popping on. Uh, any of the any any minute fans are welcome to come on if you want to come on later in the show. But we are starting with, uh, of course, we've got our boy. Is Gus up here? Oh, my bad. <laughs> what was that? There he is. Yeah, there he is. No, I'm up here. I'm good. Andrew Augustus, everybody. <laughs> And then, of course, uh, the two KMS producers working hard and hardly working are with me. Justin has been grinding away since 3.30, whereas Coleman strolled in about 15 minutes ago. Picked up a cord. Not true. No, not true. Not Picked true. Picked up a cord. Get a nice coffee in hand. <laughs> Coleman, how do you feel? Because you, you were called out today, and really this week, there were I saw a lot of polls speculating who hates you more, Jeff or Mutt. How do you feel with this criticism? And have you... Heard it. Do you understand why people are calling you sensitive? I mean, I don't know why I'd be called sensitive. Like, <laughs> what are they talking about? Like, no, okay. I, I hear it. I, I got no problem with it. You know, we're here. We're going to have a good weekend. It's going to be, you know, the best show that uh, Justin and I can put out. So uh, that Kirk can put out. It's all yeah. Kirk. Yes. I'm saying like from a tech wow. perspective, from a tech perspective. Yeah. No, wow. it's the Jack, Jack Coleman and the Jackets are no, uh, going to no, be up no. there tomorrow night. No, it's going to be a great show. Are you nervous at all? You don't seem... I, I am. I have nerves. I think in any situation like this, to not have nerves would be wild. But I think that you need to have someone just kind of clear-headed, clear-minded, and thinking that the best outcome is going to happen. And that's what I think is going to happen this weekend. Gus, what do you think watching these two guys? First of all, how do you think you would be in this pressure? Oh, I'd spot? be a wreck. <laughs> yeah. I'd be <laughs> fucked. Like, like I'm part of my French on that, but I would just be a nightmare because – We've seen what happened in the past, and I'll crumble. Do you believe that they'll be able to handle it tomorrow? Don't give me a politically correct answer. Like I know you like both of them, say, but do you think I, they'll be able to handle? It? I do because Coleman's kind of like a duck, a duck yeah. on the water. Okay, in what way? Quack. On the surface, <laughs> he looks calm, cool, collected, like trying to keep a steady head. But underneath, he's like paddling like hell, and his feet are going like crazy. That's it's a like surprisingly a cogent analogy. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> Didn't even need a second try. <laughs> it's only 6.30, so we got time. Now, how have you felt watching Justin the last few months? You said Justin was the standard. Now that you're a fan, do you feel he's lived up to that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's had some moments with Len, of course. But yeah. it, at the end of the day, he's he's been the right fit. It's He should have had this from the beginning. Like. He should have never bowed out of the producer's Okay, search. we've we've done this. Please I understand stop. that. Please, God. <laughs> no, Justin is the standard. He's he's done a, a terrific job. We should all praise him. He seems to really enjoy it. Um, the main thing I wanted you on to start, Gus, is because to me the biggest story. I've been, I've just been going up to people in the street saying, "Can you explain this to me? Why did you lie about having a job? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that for? Myself. I, mean, I don't know." <laughs> But like, did, so when when the March twentieth date came, if someone said like, "Hey, does Gus have his job?" Oh, we should ask him. What was the plan? I was just gonna go on my own Twitch and just start the stream and go. With it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we That's were a gonna mad do. Man right there. Boy, do I wish we got there. <laughs> God, I mean, you basically did guy. every Wednesday night on the network. I no, but I wish we, you could. 
that you had to keep it up like every week you're promoting this fake company. No, no, no. I, I would I would have just kept going with it. Who knows? Guys, Maybe the money is pouring in right now. <laughs> I just got my first paycheck. I got three cents. So what are the what are the job prospects right now? Uh no, nothing too spectacular. <laughs> a couple uh marketing jobs in dispensaries. So that's Become a mailman. No, I can't. I can't. You have to you stop keep smoking. saying marketing jobs at dispensaries. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. I don't think that's the drugs a thing. sell themselves. Yeah. Gus, have you ever seen like, hey, I'm Patrick Pass here at, <laughs> at High Leaf? I, don't I mean, I've seen Ricky thing. Williams at places before. Oh, okay, that's true. Around Snoop Boston, has a brand. Where have you seen Ricky Williams ad for weed places? It's Ricky Around Williams. East alternatives. It's Ricky Williams, Seth Rogen, and Gus are the yeah. spokesmen for weed companies. <laughs> hey so you you were saying uh you forgot your weed this weekend right i did i forgot my uh my weed bag so can you I, will you be able to function yeah i'm fine i i've made a pit stop on the way up i just the 420 have... boys are here i'm so sure just I'm fucking sure. become a mailman and pass a drug test what's wrong with you <laughs> no. you're already good with dogs <laughs> i i love dogs everyone knows that i love my dog but no it's i just can't following my dad's footsteps that much that would just sure no no that, one wants that's that. me admitting defeat to him and i don't want to do that i understand all right got dark <laughs> i'm just I, you want the truth there's a the truth this For is the, the other thing i'm remembering coleman doesn't know this the other thing i'm remembering about these uh mike and the men fans appearances is like I'm an excuse for them to get shit faced, so no one is listening to me right now <laughs> I, i'm I can just mike. i can don't just worry. say whatever <laughs> Uh, Julie, by the way, was uh, blitzed already, right? Hell yeah. Having a Sounded good time? It. As she should be. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Coleman, who do you think hates you more, Jeff Lo or Mutt? Oh, it's Mutt. It's Mutt. You think it's Mutt? Doubt. Yeah, I mean, the last time he was in, I think he really kind of laid into me. Jeff, I think he's more annoyed with like the political aspect of like topics or whatever. But I think Mutt, there's a deep down hatred. How would you guys feel the Mayo-Jeff uh, clash, if you want to call it that one. I feel like kind of how I expected Mayo wasn't really... In, he's a tough guy on Twitter and everything, but wasn't really in his face. Yeah, I mean, I think that show took a turn with the burp. That, that just blew my mind when he just loudly... It's an odd... Was rip. he trying to do a Kirk thing, or is he genuinely just a gross man? I thought it was natural. I didn't look up at first because I thought it was Kirk, and I was like, oh, whatever. And then I was like, holy fuck, that was right. Mayo. Yeah, because it 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 feels like Kirk kind of just does that. So anyone else doing it on the show feels like I'm gonna I'm gonna match I'm gonna match the boss. Yeah. You know, it did feel uh, it did feel uh, very odd. But the amount of people that have come up to me just unprovoked, like I don't have a hard stance on Mayo, but people are coming up to me tonight and just being like, "How fucking annoying is that guy? <laughs> he just has that impact on people. It's very weird." And I've started to understand it. It's just like the questions he asked. What did he say to you today, Coleman? Where he's like. Uh, oh, Kirk was saying you were being sensitive, and Mayo's like, "Yeah, it's probably because I'm here." That's right. Yeah, he, it was the just, most bizarre comment. He does this loop around where he asks a question and then brings it back to himself by the yeah. very end with everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Saying Coleman is sensitive because Mayo's in is like saying, "Oh, Mike has his eyes closed because Mayo's in today. <laughs> He's choosing not to see." Yeah. It's just what we do, you yeah. know. <laughs> All right, uh, Coleman, you want to hop out? We can, can we get Julie yeah, up here for a second go. if she wants to. Julie was yapping my ear off uh, the entire pre-show. Sorry, I'm a big fan. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I enjoyed it. Uh, Julie, how did, uh, so you've been working on these shows, yes? Somewhat, Pretty yeah. Pretty much you, you've been orchestrating everything? It's been all you? No. Is what you were saying earlier? <laughs> not, not what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, when things need to be done and the guys ask me to help, I'll so how, do it. How have the last few months gone? Because I haven't had a chance to talk to you about this. The last time you were on the show... It was a tough, your heart broke as a viewer, because I think you asked Kirk, like, can we be friends? And he did not I respond. really say that. <laughs> it, was, it was, can we have a sleepover? And he just didn't yes. answer you. I mean, if you wanted to be best friends, I'm available. Um, yeah, no. Uh, You've turned things around since then. Though. Yeah. You feel accepted. Sort of. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess somewhat. Yeah. So how are you going to handle this weekend? Because we know you like to tip a few back, but you're also a professional. You know, I'm being professional. Maybe later when work is over, I'll I'll have a couple of pops. But, sure. You know, Laying off the allergy meds. Hang with my <laughs> friends. Goes. Yeah. <laughs> he sips his water. It's allergy season, of course. <laughs> how much? How often are you talking to Montante? Because just casually in conversation, you mentioned to me a few times how often you're talking to Montante. No, I, not that often. Like once every couple weeks we touch base, you know, 
a text every now and then. Touch my tante, base. my tante famously, yeah, touch base on what? I don't know. The sh- just you know, hey, how's base, everything? Second base, <laughs> third base. Usually, I'm like some some asshole said this about me on Twitter, and I'm mad, and he like talks me off the ledge. Pretty much, that's it. My tante calls you holding down the fort over there. Yeah, <laughs> what could he possibly that's basically provide? it. I'm just like. Look at what this person said about me. And he's like, who cares? And then I'm like, good point. And then I move on. <laughs> Montante famously last year, the first time I ever met Julie, I was sitting here minding my own business. And Montante came up to me and said, I hope you don't mind, but there's a woman sopping wet ready to meet you. And I said, all right. <laughs> and then he brought Julie over. And it's, I said, oh, hello. <laughs> it's weird that he knew that when I didn't actually say that. So <laughs> you could smell it's, it. That's like a sixth sense. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, all right. What are the uh, what are what are some show topics you've been waiting to get into? Because you haven't been on the air in a long time. You, I feel like you have thoughts on Coleman that you haven't said yet. No, I like. I'm a Coleman fan, yeah. actually. He's like it reminds me. I'm sorry. Everyone. Are you guys Coleman fans? I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, that, a smattering, a smattering of applause. The only beef I have with Coleman was when he like was disgusted about the idea of me having sex in a hot tub. I was offended by that, Coleman. Do you think it's uh, your age, your appearance? What grossed him out specifically? I'm your not vagina? quite sure, but <laughs> either way. <laughs> Justin is alluding to you something about your vagina. Does he know something we don't? No, it's the fact that she has a vagina. Oh, oh good point. Excellent point. Uh, okay, good... right. If it were two dudes having sex in the in the hot tub, then By the way, there's someone just in, trying to enjoy their dinner at Gritty's right now. <laughs> 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 oh, that was another another strange reveal is th- that we found out this week is uh, I'd always heard like the bit that's been talked about on the show is we all know that Coleman's mom pops up if you call him like, with the caller ID. <laughs> but it was still jarring when he called me this morning and Squirter popped up onto my phone. I didn't realize I didn't realize just how graphic Maria Coleman got. That was very weird that he was just like. Yeah, son. Like I'm gaping right now, and I need to be filled up. You know. I think it's related. Like she's trying extra hard because he's gay, and they're like Catholic. He's oh, we need to to push him towards. Hey, son. These tits are nice, right? Yeah. (laughs) Isn't this a nice pair of female breasts? (laughs) He's just disgusted. Oh, so it's like, you think it's like a home conversion camp? Yes, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, I can't imagine why a woman would be doing that. <laughs> it was very strange to me. That makes sense to me. I was going to say, how happy does that make you now? You're you're good. What, what, what do you mean? You're, you're, you and your mom are like done now. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. you broke up your you know what, Gus, now that you think about it, I'm over the moon. <laughs> I just go so starts crying. Oh, wait, it's been lifted off my shoulder. Uh, yeah, I was poking Coleman in the chest earlier. Hey, bitch, <laughs> know your place. Your <laughs> That's my thing. <sighs> uh, so what, what grade do you give Coleman so far, Julie? Um, I would say B, solid B. How about Justin since he started? Justin, A minus. Is that because he's in the group chat? He's kind of part of the family? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. He's lovable, you know. <laughs> Has Coleman gotten the invite to the group chat? Oh, not we're, yet. We're, we're already in group chat talk. <laughs> is Dave Conan still? I'm not the... Oh, that's a good point, Justin. Yeah, I mean, is anyone else here? <laughs> has, uh, has Mick arrived yet? I wanted to talk to him, too. No? Mick? No Mick yet? All right, Steve from Gloucester. How about you get Steve. up Steve. Calling Steve from Gloucester. A man that was milling about. Awesome. <laughs> hello, hello. Steve from Gloucester. This is really your first live show. I know you went to the vigil, of course. Yep. But this, this is, is your first, first live show since then, right? First one. Yep. How's it feel? This is amazing. What a great group. I love them. Are you getting recognized more? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> not as much as you, but yeah. I say not as much as I want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How does it how does it feel? Do you feel like you're part of the show when you're at something like this? Like how do you feel being at your first event having been on the show? That must be kind of an odd feeling. It is an odd, yeah, definitely. I um walked in and people were saying Steve and I'm like, I, I don't know who these people are, but it's, it's the price of celebrity, baby. That's right. You yeah. have to do that. So no, it's great. I'm I'm glad to be here. Great, great crowd. Great. It's gonna be an awesome weekend. What is your is this is this the first time you've seen Gus since your uh, historic interview together? 
I think so. I think so, yeah. Awesome. Gus, awesome. How, did, how did you feel? I thought you did a good job with that, Gus. But how annoyed were you when this son of a bitch <laughs> that essentially got you fired? Like, it may have ne never been not, into our head. I do. We may just have not noticed what a horrible job you were doing if it wasn't for Steve. I know, right? <laughs> so it's, how did it feel when he was just talking to you like you were old butts? I mean, it's. I knew it was coming. Like, I've been in politics. You've been around the fake nights. Nice sure. Season, so yeah, it's yeah, just... Yeah. I knew so that's what coming. I am. So it's well, you're coming like even now. It's like you've gone after some people in here, and now you're being all friendly. Everyone's great. Who else has Steve gone after? Who have I? Didn't you go? You went Coleman a little bit. Why would I go after Coleman? I oh, see. I think I think Steve's easier on Coleman for some reason. Yeah, where definitely. Is if 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 it started out Justin and Coleman, and Coleman's had some of the instances that he has over the last few months, I think Steve would have been ripping him apart. But Gus was an easy target that he took out early on. Yeah, now he's going to move over to Coleman is what I'm saying. So I I'm look not out moving over to anybody. What's <laughs> this conspiracy but theory that's going on? So, so you're just being ingenuous to get me gone. Yes, he's and being very ingenuous. Now that you're being so ingenuous, now you like everybody and you're good now. So is this – you were just after me. It was a personal vendetta. A vendetta? That's a big word. <laughs> Why would I – I've been vendetta. reading a dictionary. What's going to get a whack? What's going on here? Vendetta. <laughs> oh, that's no, true, no, though. No. What do you say to that? Listen – I was friends with my friends all said, hey, he's not a, he wasn't doing a good job. So I said, all right, let me write a letter to Kirk. Who are these friends? My friends in Gloucester. Everybody who listens to the show. My okay. friends in Gloucester. The play play guy. Guy. Kind, said, kind of like yeah. when Mayo walks around his town. Yeah. When you are all oh, walk around, what, people are like, this what, fucking what, Gus guy sucks. The friends, what, they work at 14 media. media with Mayo. <laughs> Let's, let's take the spotlight off me. What about Mayo's performance today? <laughs> what did you think? Because you hate Mayo, right? He's, he wished cancer on me today, Mike. Who uh, would want that? But he, he, your life. Well, here, here's the question, though. And I think Kirk was asking this uh, maybe a week or two ago. If Kirk did that, it would be taken in stride. What totally is it? Fine, about, it's a laugh. What is it about Mayo that bothers you? Is it just his face or Everything what? Everything about Mayo. The notebook. I, get it. I kind of get questions. It now. I yeah. mean, Burping into the microphone today? I mean, who does that? It was very odd. And, I, <laughs> and Kirk let him stay on. It's not, it's also, I don't think it's a pile on thing with Mayo either, because I liked his first few appearances, actually. And then I think it just gets to you eventually, where you're like, enough with it. We got it with the questions. <laughs> and I had to, um, I messaged Jeff D. Lowe after the show, because I was like, Jeff, welcome to the club. When you're in with Mayo, I feel like it's almost like the Masters. Of, you need like a green jacket or you need sure. to in a Mayo club because being there with him for two or three hours, it's just too much. And you could see the producers today, like Coleman and Justin wanted nothing to do with him. Right. What's that night before dinner going to be like you, Jeff, me, Jeff, Mike, <laughs> <laughs> well, have you been in with him? Have I been in with Jeff with Mayo? Oh, with Mayo. I have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so <Yes>. you, <laughs> <laughs> so we got a nice little group. <laughs> so yeah. also Steve, you're talking shit about Mayo. Burping on camera. I have you on camera picking your nose. Oh, yeah, no one's ever it. talked about that. Very true. Studio. Very true. But no one's ever talked burp. about that. You couldn't hear that, but you could hear the burp. Exactly. I, I would argue. Thing. I think the Other picking. So sit it's, in there. the booger is worse. Because you're worse. You're but flicking, it was a nice flick, though. You're flicking excrement around the room. That's yeah. Well, what's a burp on the microphone? I mean, that could have you know that. That's it's something. worse. It's worse to the listener. But you're you're essentially saying to Justin, who would be the one cleaning that studio. Most very likely. true. That's You're saying point. pick up my slop, boy. You know? Well, he's got also has to sanitize the microphones. I suppose. <laughs> I, I don't know how often that's gonna happen. Don't true. make it right. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. True. Yeah, it wasn't a good look, but Mayo was definitely worse. So what's the path? And this is how you know we've bottomed out on this show. <laughs> what's the path for Steve from Gloucester going forward? What's the path? I, I don't yeah, have you a were path. you were a Gus guy Judy and you seem a little lost now. I have the consistency podcast. Right. But what's I like the direction being part of the of that? network? I don't know. I have to find one because no Gus. There's no consistency with the consistency. Manners wasn't a real thing. And my thing with Mayo is kind of. So actually, that's a good question because this is I, being broadcast on something. the Manners Minifan Network, right? That's what oh, we own. It? No, it is not. It's oh, no. That's against my wishes. Oh. I own this show. I can I can choose. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> how's, it go, how's it going legally with that? Are you uh, consulting hey, Mike Portnoy? It's a battle. They say it's going to destroy my case that I'm doing this show. But. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I sold her on. That's all you can do. <laughs> but how, is, uh, how has it been on the new network? Have you noticed uh, a bump? Or so much easier, yep. Definitely a bump in the views. John from Scranton, very easy to work with. Oh, is that right? Oh, he, very easy. He and Coleman. Uh, That's good to hear. Great. They upload the shows, and they keep you posted. So 
And so what it's is good Men- what is Menders doing? Because now is there, there's going to be like a show tomorrow night, just shitting on the show no matter what, right? Is it's the, the Seagulls. Yeah. The Seagull Network, we should call them, with him and Sneaker oh, and on. VD. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> I like what it. it's going to be about tomorrow. <laughs> just hating on us. Yeah. So you're fully on board with the new network. You don't miss the old one at all? Not at all. Not one minute. And uh, if Kirk moved us back, I would probably retire the Consistency Podcast. You would. would. You'd be done. I wouldn't work with Menards again. If you had to go back, you would re- you would stop your show. I would stop it. That might be a reason for Kirk to <laughs> yeah, we go. switch things Don't up. Don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, st- one other thing I wanted to ask you, Steve. Yeah. Why does it seem like the uh, the Dirty Dancing thing? There things come up like that, where you you clearly haven't seen the movie Dirty Dancing. I, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but now I'm very up to date and with Camp you, Kellerman. You, and you don't and all know. You've never eaten from Jay Pache or whatever that restaurant never. was. You've clearly never Jay been not once. I go what next door to the stop. What and are shop. these things? Where <laughs> I go next door to the stop and shop after you lie as much as Gus, and then you get very rattled when you're called I out. Get rattled. That's a bad the thing. You swore to destroy, Steve. I have to get better at that. What what advice would you give me on how not to be rattled in those moments? I guess just be yourself and be truthful. Don't lie. Yeah, very true. It's hard to lie though. I, I like no, it's not. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, for you, I think maybe, you mean it's hard but... not to lie. I was yeah. gonna say for you too. <laughs> I get it. If it's like about, I don't like... have that. I don't have a Gus in me or a Montante that can comfortably lie. Right. Like you guys lie comfortably. <laughs> like, I, like I go through what pain. It's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, but it's a lot better than me. How do you, how do, with all the uh, talk, Jeff and uh, Mutt shitting on Coleman, how do you feel about his performance and what do you expect tomorrow? And I'll throw Justin in that mix. Justin's getting kind of a pass here. I'd say I both think of they're going to do great. I yeah. mean, I've always been a fan of Coleman's and Justin's since day one. They're going to be fine. I don't know what was going on yesterday. Kirk seemed a little upset, but he seemed great today. I have confidence in these guys. They're, they're going to do great tomorrow. Okay. And I, I will say, if we're just basing it on last year, last year was a smashing success. And no one could hear me on this show. So this is already an upgrade already, that Justin Coleman. Have so, so how are you on. feeling for tomorrow night? Me, what, I do, feel, what do you think? I feel, I feel well. I get more comfortable with everyone. At these, it's, it's easy for me because I can't hear or see anything. So in a, <laughs> well, way, in a way, it's kind of easy. Well, I think it's a good sign when I didn't see the almonds when I came to sit down. I thought you'd be... Uh, that was a one sad... The, the low moment of you. <laughs> it was a sad moment when Justin in the studio did one of his bits where he handed me almonds. <laughs> yeah. But they were chocolate-covered almonds, so I wanted to just like throw them away, but I was like, actually, these will be good tonight. I'll, I'll oh, good. Them. I ain't the only one that had that bit. Remember <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the peanut gallery? I brought you guys some peanuts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I munch those peanuts a lot. Yeah. Those, those are good. I'll give them credit on that. <laughs> Uh, oh, that was another thing uh, last year. I will say that contributed to the uh, the sound is that Montante did spill a drink on the equipment and then oh, walked no. away as if he didn't do it. So that's he probably really? yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He has a drink in hand right <laughs> now. So we gotta watch out. He spilled a drink and then like slithered away as if he never did it, which a move I've done many times. I respect it. But <sighs> all right, who else can we get up here, Justin? Who's here? I have no idea. Hey, hey, Kirk's here. Hey, oh, thank hey, God. Hey, here we Finally, go. I can stop putting on the charade that I'm doing a show. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Maine's number one DJ. Your WBLM host. For the viewers at home, Kirk just walked in. Yeah. Wow, look at the crowd. They're finally paying Great. attention now. It's nice. <laughs> Does it sound better than last year or no? That's a start, Mike. Uh, You're just in time because we were really bottoming out. Is that true? I was asking Steve about dirty dancing. It was getting rough up here. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't make this announcement very often. Andy Mayo. No, 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 no. no, no. I hope this doesn't uh, ruin your plans for tomorrow. I was doing a census. I know you were hoping for a lot of positivity, but I mentioned Coleman's name earlier, and it didn't seem like great feedback. Is that true? Guys, what do you think of Coleman? What do you guys think of Coleman? I'm worried about that. Yeah. No, 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 no. The cool men are here. 
who wishes Coleman was on um, United 93? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just trying to get an idea of what's going on here. He would have stopped it. Yeah, we do have to find the floor on this thing. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. What's going on? What have I missed? What's going on? How was uh, how was your big debut on God, main I radio? Lo- I love that. I can't believe I just did that with that fucking shirt. That's one of my favorite. Where's the shirt? Oh, this guy who looks like a gayer Carano has the freaking shirt. <laughs> what shirt are we talking about? Hey, if two guys fucked each other and had a kid, that'd be that guy. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. Which you probably know how to sew, right? Can you fix it for me, buddy? No? No. no. Jesus Christ. My man boobs flashing around. What's 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 going on? What's going on, Mikey? How was uh how was uh, pitting the It the was post? great. I had a great time. That, uh, Chris is a good guy. Had a lot of fun. Um it's the first time I've been on radio. I, but I forgot about my man uh Paul um Yeah, you said first time in seven years or something like that, but you were of course in West Virginia. West Virginia. Is is anybody eat I'm st- is there food good here or no? Nobody's eating, right? Look at all these faces. All the oh. same stupid faces. I, I almost forgot. Started. I saved this to tell you. You'll, yeah. you'll enjoy this more than okay. anyone. Yeah. So we get here, and uh, at the same time, two people approach us okay. and ask us a question at the exact same time. And it was the same question. They said, anything I can get you. One was a waitress that works here. <laughs> Would you care to guess the other? Uh, I'm going to guess that your <laughs> wife is very well aware of that. Oh, I said wife. Mike is married to Alba. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, nipples came right over, and he's like, "This guy right here, this is the guy who chicken fries fucking. Look at the forehead on this guy. (laughs) No, you, I'm pointing at you. You have a bald guy with a beard. (laughs) There he is, Zach uh, Gustin is here tonight. Whatever his name is, Luke, Luke Bryan, Zach Bryan, Joe Bryan is the guy's name. Well, that works. Oh, I saw Ironhead. All right, we're fucking forgetting him. Yeah, that was disappointing for all of us. Why are you? Why are you here? Mike, bring it as always. Bring it as always. <laughs> where is where is Coleman? He's right in front of you. Right oh Jesus! <laughs> Cabbage Patch doll. People, parents were fighting over that in 1982. It's unbelievable. <laughs> so we're gonna have a good time tomorrow night. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is- Julie's telling us how much he did for the show and really did, put in a lot of elbow grease to make this thing run. This is definitely this is definitely spiked, right? Is there any question? <laughs> no. Are these paper straws? It's Portland, baby. Is it Diet Coke? You guys can hear more about those paper straws tomorrow night with Steve Robinson. Uh, What's that? What did you say, Mike? Steve's going to have a lot to say about those paper straws. He will. Yeah. So we'll have have a good time tomorrow night. Uh, Everyone have a good time, yeah? No. All right. All right. You guys ready for tomorrow night? We're going to rock the State Theater again one more time. Uh, I don't think anything else is going on, right? I'm not missing anything, am I? I don't think. You mean like news? Yeah, yes. No, Mike. Yeah. No, the well, yes, the news. <laughs> not, not I really. go to my hotel room. Julie books me a hotel room, right? Oh no. I go up the stairs to the floor I'm on, which is, which <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what hotel it is, sweetheart. <laughs> it's uh, it's up top, top floor, like the night, like a, like the nicest room there, whatever. So I get to the end, and I don't know if they're here or not. This fucking Minifan couple was like, oh my, we're right across from you. <laughs> and the guy's like, that the guy's like, hey, he's like, what time do you fall asleep? I'm like, oh, oh fuck. God. Yeah. So Kirk, hey, you want to come down for a drink, buddy? Yeah, hey, Kirk, <laughs> hey, why don't you why don't you get mad? Why don't you yell? <laughs> I can't get over that. I can't get over that fucking gay guy has my shirt. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Gay guy, throw me the shirt. I'll give it back. I'll give it back. I'll give it back. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. Oh, this guy's definitely changing his Twitter handle to "gay guy" now. He's the- <laughs> oh my God, I have AIDS already. That was the fastest thing of all time. I had this shirt on. My mom died. Just so you know. Wow. Yeah. He's a bitch anyway. Though. She's, I, I'm so. I'm still. I was thinking of driving up today. I was like, I'm gonna reevaluate my mom. I'm so down on her right now. That's consistent, or does it yeah. waver? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, consistent lately. So that's disappointing. I'm blocking. By the way, I'm blocking. See, for- what? Shut, shut your fucking ass down, baby. <laughs> baby. No one's here to see you. Shut your fucking mouth. I'm okay. You, 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 your fucking grandmother's gonna let you just get it. <laughs> get your cunt ass out of here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> what? Where's John? Where is he? I'm just kidding, Joanne. Oh, I'm not, here? How is Colonnade's mouth not in your cock right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Or no, I messed that one up. I was calling his cock not in your mouth right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Anyway. Is Conan coming? Blind, yeah, he is. Blindmike.net. Go subscribe right now. Okay. Everyone does. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep. And I can announce here, uh, my episode of First Date will be out on Tuesday. So that's exciting. Oh. <laughs> Everyone get ready for that. That was nine months ago when that thing Yes, happened. it was a different present. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be on vacation for that. Oh, I thought the Mick, th- I thought the, the, the Marx Boys showdown was one. You guys don't care if I take like the next two weeks off, right? Who cares? I'm giving you the show tonight. Woo! Go. Woo! Are you booing me? Yeah! Luke Bryan is gay. Who knew? <laughs> uh, anyway, am I missing you guys doing anything else or no? Nah. All right. Pretty much. No? Steve, what's going on with Steve? <laughs> uh, not much. You see, Gu- Gus. Bullied him again a little, and Steve pussy oh, out. I didn't even see Gus. What's going on? Good. What's going on? Good. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Relaxing. Oh. We haven't missed we, much. We did. We did miss out on something where Gus told me earlier that I said, "What would have happened if we got what? to March 20th?" What's and- that? Throw that back to the gay guy. What's? Thank you. What's that? I said. We, I asked Gus what would have happened if we got to the date that he was supposed to be employed. And we remembered, oh, hey, and he goes, I just would have started a Twitch channel and promoted that company. It's fine. Once we talk, everyone just starts talking. <laughs> oh, no one is listening <laughs> to me. No this is for the home. people at home. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, oh, we're on YouTube, right? Yeah. yeah. We are, yeah. Okay. How are you and, doing, and Justin? R- and Rumble. Uh, and I, Rumble. I'm, I'm living. Okay. Try, trying. So, what's everyone going to do the rest of the night? We're just going to hang out here. We have a good time. <laughs> drink some beers. Do some fucking Coke. <laughs> yeah. Who's got the Coke tonight? Everyone keep your hands to yourselves, you know? Who does? Oh, B.A.'s here. He's got the Coke. Yeah, he's smuggled in. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, there, look at those. Look at those. Look at those nipples on nipples. Those things are fucking unbelievable. Now, I was told. Can you confirm this for me? Yeah. I was told not only are his nipples showing, but points south. It looks like nipples is wearing a shirt that might have fit Harry when he was born. <laughs> like, it, it's a workout, that shirt. I don't, he's a very sexual can, being. Uh, purple. Yeah, I'm, as you're well aware. <laughs> I know. You're, you're I know. constantly trying to. That's a standard beat. As, as I'm trying to thwart it yeah, all it's like, time. It's like trying to catch, like, you know, Joe DiMaggio's hit streak. Yes. No, <laughs> Steve like that one, by the he's way. He's like a swiper from Dora the Explorer. Like, swiper, no swipe. <laughs> swiper, no away. fucking swipe. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to give you guys a good time tomorrow. Now, I'll be around tonight. You guys want to take pictures, buy me food, whatever. I'm starving. So I'll turn it over to uh, these guys here. All right. Uh, what, so just to get an idea of tomorrow night. I think the VIP starts at six. Is that right, Coleman? Six. So whoever's doing that, we'll do that. Then the show starts probably eight o'clock. Lots and lot. We got more stuff than any show we've ever done, I think. Individual show. We're gonna have a good time. Redemption will be served in what 24, 25 hours? Whew. 25. Don't be so excited. This is the reaction I get. Let's go. For, fucking forget it. Fucking Justin, let's close it up. Fucking forget it. These people don't want. These people don't want. If you say so. These people don't. These people don't want. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Is McFustaddy here? Oh, McFustaddy's yes, yes. here. Is McFustaddy's stupid friend here? Oh, he there he run. is. There he is. That's my guy. That's my guy. Re- repping the Down syndrome of the South, which is accomplishment. <laughs> to be a Down syndrome man from the South is unbelievable. Wouldn't you say? Is my guy from the cheap. Breakfast Place? What you bitch about? Yeah, I appreciate it. I've seen a lot of merch tonight. That is a shitty audience. I, I don't know. <laughs> You're disappointed overall? Well, I mean, they don't seem to be. They, they're just kind of here to hang out with each other. Maybe I won't even do a show tomorrow night. We got merch on. You might as well just get Jack Coleman tomorrow night. That's it. And his horny mother. Can I? That would I would enjoy that a lot. <laughs> a night with Jack Coleman? <laughs> a night with Jack. Can, can I pay for that myself? We're going to tour. Yeah, there you go. All right. Everyone have a good time. I'll be around for that. All right. Kirk Minahan, everybody. Feels like uh, there's nowhere to go but down here, but I don't know. Is anyone else there, anyone else out there that wants to come on? I think we wrap this baby up, Mike. Uh, all right, good. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for coming out to Gritty's in Portland, Maine. Who's excited for tomorrow? All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. This is uh, Mike and the Minifans. Bye-bye.